I Dr. Aswin Dobaria welcomes you in programming in C video series. In this video we will discuss the another important functions of C program and mostly used in most of the programs of C language that is scanf functions. As you remember in a previous video we have seen the printf functions uh, the use of printf function is to display something on screen as output then we generally use the printf function. Similarly, the scanf function uh, is mostly used to give certain inputs to our programs. Suppose we want to perform certain calculations and we want to provide certain input to our programs then we generally use the scanf function. In this video, we will discuss the syntax and the different way to write the scanf function because there are many uh, other different methods to write the scanf function. So, we will see with the uh, practical example. Uh, in this video, we will discuss the introduction of scanf functions, then uh, use of scanf function and various example of scanf function. Uh, as I uh, told you that the scanf function is generally used uh, to give a input. So, uh, this function in C while allows the programmer to accept input from the standard input device like a keyboard and store them in a variable. So, Suppose you consider this is here your program is executes and uh, uh, your program is like which calculate uh, sum of two numbers. So, you require to provide input to numbers first to your program. So, that number you can input through the standard input device like print uh, in a keyboard. Uh, and uh, so, how we can get the value from keyboard in our program? Uh, so, this, uh, the uh, use of, uh, with the use of scanf function. Now, the syntax of scanf function is scanf, then we have to mention the constant character format string. If we simplify this syntax, then we can write scanf function and in double quotation, we have to write the format specifier and uh, the second parameter, we have to mention the variable list with the m person symbol. It is you can say it is a address symbol. Now, what is the meaning of that? As we know that in, in C program, whenever we want to store any value, we generally store in a variable, right? And a variable uh, is uh, declared at the beginning of the program according to the value is to be stored in the variable. So, suppose here we want to uh, calculate two numbers, then two numbers like 5 and 3. So, both are a numbers. So, in, in the program, we have to declare x and y as an integer. And if you want to store a float value, then uh, float means point value, then x and y are declared as a float. So, according to the data type of the variable, first parameter we have to mention the format specifier. Even in our previous video printf also, we have seen uh, according to the data type, uh, we can use the different format specifier. So, percentage d, it is for decimal, it means whenever you want to specify an integer variable over here, then format specifier percentage d. So, in scanf function, in double quotation, first we have to specify the format uh, specifier according to the list of variable. Here, we want to take input of two integer variables x and y, then here we have to mention two percentage d, one for x, another for y. And here, what is the meaning of m person over here? Then meaning of m person means it is an address. So, if we write the m person before any variable, it means it gives the address. So, the meaning is that whenever user input any value from keyboard, so that value is stored at the address of that variable. So, m person x means it gives the address and in memory, every variable is having three things. One is variable name that variable value and variable address. So, variable address is all always access uh, through the m person. Let us see uh, a certain example of format specifier. So, for integer data type format specifier is percentage d that you have to remember. For float data type percentage f, character percentage c. So, these are the three basic data types and other than this modified data type is long integer. So, what is long integer that we will see in a separate video in a data type, I will explain the limit also. And for long integer, uh, the format specifier is percentage LD and for double is a percentage F also or you can mention percentage LF. And for character array or you can say string, 
because string is a group for that uh, string uh, the format specifier is percentage s and all these format specifier are generally used in scanf function according to the variable data type uh, let us see uh, the one example of uh, the scanf function uh, here this is a general function without scanf suppose i want to calculate sum of two number then i will declare three variable over here one is first number is x second number is y and here at the time of declaration i am initializing the value to x and y it means I am not taking input from user, but instead of that I have initialized this value fix to the these variables. Then z, z which will store the sum of these two numbers. Then clear screen and see all three variables are declared as a integer data type. Then I want to calculate sum, so z is equal to x plus y. Now after that I want to print the answer z. So uh, answer is and z is an integer type, so percentage d and z. So, it displays the message like this answer is and in place of percentage d it displays the z value. So, here x is 5, y is 3. So, 5 plus 3 it becomes 8 and at 8 will be stored into z and z will be displayed. So, when we declare any variable in a, in a program then uh, if we initialize over here then that value is stored in that particular address. So, every variable is having three things one is a variable name, variable value and the address and address may vary according to the program. If you it does not mean that when you execute a program then every time it allocate the same here I was just given for your reference only. So, here address may be different in your computer in your laptop. So, here I have not taken input value from user, but instead of that uh, I have initialized value. Now, what is the uh, the things over here? If you run this program 10 times, then uh, every time the output will be 8 because here we are not taking input from user, we are not taking dynamic input from user. So, how we can uh, change or how we can input a value at run time because here we have fixed. So, the next example using scanf is uh, first uh, we will declare three variable x, y, z and see here we have not initialized the value. Now, one more thing here you have to understand that whenever we initialize, whenever we declare a variable of any data type without initialization, initialization means to give any initial value. So, when we are not mentioning over any initial value then compiler by default assigns some garbage value and garbage value is known as an unknown value. It may be any, it may be any. Right. So, uh, when the compiler assign unknown value to that variable at the time of declaration that is known as a garbage value. So, here we have not initialized any variable. So, compiler first initialize garbage value in all these three variable. After that uh, print statement will display message enter value of x and after reading this statement suppose if I input 5 value from keyboard then 5 will be scanned by scanf function and scanf function and I want to store that 5 value or we can say first value in x variable then how we can write a scanf function. So, x is only a single variable of integer data type. So, one integer variable means one percentage d we have to mention in double quotation comma this 5 value I want to store at the address of x that is why we have to mention x. So, address of x means 3202 in our example. So, this 5 value will be stored over here. Similarly, compiler read next statement enter value y. Then again we will enter suppose 3. Then this 3 will be scanned or stored into y variable. So, percentage d because here only one variable is mentioned. So, percentage d what type of value we want to input integer right. So, for integer data type format specifier is percentage d comma m percent y means second value like 3 it store at the address of y it means over here. Then z is equal to x plus y whenever we mention variable name without m person then it will give a value. So, here x and y which will give a value which is stored inside over here, but m person is give the address of this value this is the difference. So, here we want to calculate suppose 5 and 3 so 5 plus 3 z and z will be stored over here and after that z will be printed on the screen. So, this is one way of writing a scanf function where we are scanning or we are inputting 
one value at a time. We do the practical in a turbo C, uh, like here declare three variables, then print f, uh, enter value of x and scan x and scan y and calculate and display. So, if I execute this program, now see it display the first message, uh, enter value of x. Suppose if I input 5, then 5 will be stored into x. So, now then second value if for example 3 and enter then it gives the answer is 8. So, in that way we will take a input of any value using scanf function. So, this is one way to write the scanf function. Let us see few more example here we will discuss. Okay. Now, second example see here I have make the comparison this is our previous program uh, three variables x is scan individually, y is also scan individually and then we are calculating x plus y. Now, see what is the difference between these two function, uh, these two statement and this. So, here also three variables are there and see here we are scanning or we are inputting individual variable. First, we are taking input of x, then we are taking input for y, but in scanf function, this is another way to write the scanf function where using single scanf function, we can take input of multiple variables. So, enter value of x and y, then scanf. Now, here I want to input two value in single program, in single function. Then, here two variables and both are integer, then here in double quotation, I have to mention two percentage d, percentage d and percentage d. So, first percentage d for x variable, second percentage d for y variable. After that comma, then you can mention m person x. So, first value will be stored into the address of x and second value will be stored into the address of y. So, this is a this is the difference here scanf is scanning only individual value of a variable and here instead of writing two statement of printf scanf the same thing we can do using single statement and then calculate some let us see how uh, practically we can do it. So, instead of this uh, if I make the comment of this statement and uh, here enter value of x and y and uh, here percentage d for y and m percent y. Right? Now, if I run this program here there is a difference. Suppose if I write like 5 3 then it does not mean that 5 will be stored into x and 3 will be stored into y because 53 is a single number. So, here you can input the value in two way. One is you input a value, value and give a space and after that you input a value. So, here 5 will be stored into x and y will be stored into uh, 3 will be stored into y. So, if there is a space then it separate the number. So, now the answer is 8. This is one way to input a value while you taking a multiple variable in a single scan a function. Now, another way if I input 5 and press or 50 and press enter. So, when I press enter then 50 will be stored into x. Now, still the cursor is waiting for more value because we have to input the value of y suppose 60 and after that if I press enter key now I am pressing enter key then 60 will be stored into y then see the 50 plus 60 is the 110. So, whenever you use a multiple variables uh, in a scanf function then you can give a input two different way. One is number, then space, then another number. So, 45 store, 45 will be stored into x, 70 will be stored into y and it gives 115. Or another option is you can input suppose 45, then enter, then suppose 65, then enter. So, when you press enter, then and then it will consider the next value. So, this is, this is the second way to write the uh, scanf function. Now, here x and y both are the similar data type. Now, we will take one more example where we will take the input of different a different data type. So, here suppose I want to take input of x is integer float y then character z. So, here uh, enter value of x uh, suppose if I input 5 then 5 will be stored into x then enter value of y suppose 3.5 then it will store into y and now suppose I want to store any character also. So, enter value of z then here we have to uh, here see the format specifier for float is percentage f for uh, character percentage c and here i have mentioned on f plus std in 
what is the meaning of this why we have to what is the requirement to write f flush std in function specifically when you are scanning a single character this function is generally used before a scanf function where we are taking input of one characters why it is required let's see the practicals and what happen if we do not mention that now here i am declaring three variable as per our programs like uh, float y and uh, then uh, character z right and first is enter value of x this is our first statement then uh, here in scanf only one value integer then we will write uh, yeah then uh, next statement we will write printf uh, slash sorry okay we will directly copy and paste the above statement control insert shift insert then again shift insert right now in the second printf enter the value of y and here we know that y is declared as a float then here we have to mention format specifier f and variable name is m person y then enter value of z now we know that z is declared as a character then format specifier is percentage c and this is the z now uh, let's we just display the output uh, like uh, x is equal to what is the value of x percentage d comma x and printf now see whenever we want to access a variable value then we have to just mention the variable name without m person so see here, here we are not mentioning m person because we are accessing the value of that variable right and printf slash n value of z is equal to percentage uh, c and z okay and then now if i execute this program now see uh, yes, uh, just a minute. Semicolon is missing over here. Uh, in C, every statement end with the semicolon. Uh, suppose first is a five, then y value is one point two because it is a floating. Now see, when I press enter, then it should be ask me a third value like. But see, it doesn't uh, ask me the value of z. It directly skip. Why this thing happen? right we have enter 5 and press enter then enter 1.2 and press enter but it doesn't ask me the uh, the uh, the character value over here and directly display x5 but it doesn't display any value of z so the problem is if we do not mention f flush then what happen when uh, before the character scan app here when we input a value like 1.2 and press enter key so that enter key is directly scanned by this function right so whenever we input a value of y and press enter key so that enter key is directly stored into z if we do not mention this f flush right but suppose if we mention f flush std in what happen after entering the value of y if we press enter key then enter key will be uh, clear from the buffer so it will not store into this so it will wait for the value so now see uh, instead of that if i mention f flush over here f flush std in this is a function which generally clear the buffer so when you press any enter key before this can app then it will clear so the you can able to uh, uh, input the character value now see if i run this program x value is 5 enter y value is 1.2 and enter now see it is waiting for value of z because this enter is clear from the buffer so now if i input suppose a small a and press enter then it scan that a and a is stored into z variable and it display this so this is the different way to write this uh, scanf function now uh, the same statement all these three if you want to access in a single if you want to take input in a single scanf function all these three value then how we can write so first we can write printf printf then enter value of x comma y comma z we will give a common message and scanf now we we know that we want to scan the value of all these three variable x y and z then according to the sequence of variable first suppose percentage d then percentage f then percentage c and i know that 
first percentage d then so whenever you want to scan or input a multiple value and a different type value then the order should be same order means here percentage d is the integer uh, variable then first we have to mention x only we can write we cannot write y because y is a float variable so if you want to mention y first then here you have to mention the percentage f first so whatever sequence you main um, write over here in the same way you have to write the variable name so first percentage d it means integer then here we have to mention first integer variable then float variable then you can say the character variable so this is the third way to write the scanf function where you can write uh, the scanf functions and take a different type of data using single statement now the same scanf i can write like this also percentage c then percentage d then percentage f so see here i have mentioned a different sequence over here means i want to uh, give a input first character then integer value then float value so according to that i have to mention first character variable then uh, float variable uh, sorry integer variable then float variable right so this is also a correct both the statements are correct so here you have to learn this whenever you write the scanf function and you are taking input of multiple variable then in first double quotation you require to mention the all format specifier in sequence and comma you have to mention all the variables separated by comma so let's execute this and whenever you input uh, all three variables using single at that time see here if i mention suppose first is 4 then 1.2 and the here again uh, there is a issue of f flush so it is better uh, you take the character variable separate as a input and you mention the f flush uh, function so i hope friends uh, uh, this video you enjoy and uh, you also learn about how we can write the uh, scanf functions differently and in this video description part i also mentioned the link of all other theory and practical videos for your reference so please friends share this video like this video and send this video link to your friends so they can also take the benefits and uh, in in next video we'll see and we'll start the practicals programs how to write the basic programs to advanced level but uh, it's very interesting and unique video i will explain in the next uh, that is how to develop or uh, think about a logic of any programs right so whenever you solve any programs in c language how you can start the thinking of the logic that tips that tricks i will explain with the practical in our upcoming video so for getting the updates of upcoming video please subscribe this video thank you thank you very much